Mga kaibigan, si Rani Raymundo po, bumabati ng magandang umaga, magandang hapon, magandang tanghali, magandang gabi, magandang midnight, depende kung nasaan kayo sa, sa mundo, mga kababayan ko, mga Pilipino. Alam nyo, itong panahon ng pandemya, maraming realizations ang nangyari sa akin. Eh, Siyempre pa, nandito lang tayo sa bahay, staying home, di ba? Uh, narealize na ang swerte natin, no? na Pilipino tayo dahil maraming mga bagay na na ipamana sa atin ng mga ninuno natin. Kaya special na special ang ating kultura. Uh, anyway, kaya ako gumawa ng video kasi may bagong ginawang kanta uh, na ibig kong i-share sa inyo lahat para ma-share nyo lalo na sa mga magulang, yung mga young parents dyan. Um, it's a children's song. Uh, tumulong sa akin sa pagsulat uh, ng letra ang kaibigan ko, si Ray Abrea. Um, siguro, 
uh, after nito, magpo-post ako ng link kung saan kayo pwede mag-download ng mga minus 1 nito, pati na rin ng kanta, para maituro nyo sa mga anak nyo at ma-share nyo yan. Iniimbitahan ko rin lahat ng mga, mga, mga guro. Um, lalo na ngayon, puro online na yung mga pagtuturo. Baka pwede nyo isama to. Ito po ay libre. Wala akong uh, hinahangad na itain dito. Ito po ay sinusuli ko lamang. Um, ito po yung kanta. Sana po maibigan nyo. At uh, siguro maglalagay rin ako ng link kung saan ko ilalagay yung mga chords sa mga daddy o mami dyan na marunong mag -gitara. Kahit na si ate at si kuya. Ito po, sana po maibigan nyo. Ang title nito, Batang Pilipino. Pag nakasalubong si Lolo at Lola Ang unang gawin ay magmano Kapag tinanong ni ate at kuya Huwag Kalimutan ko pamit ng po Kanya ng batang Pilipino May kalang at may respeto Pinanamla sa aking minuto Na pinabahagi namin sa inyo Sa harapan ng hapag kainan Pagdarasa at huwag kalimutan At pag nakitang pagod si nanay Tumulong ka sa gawain bahay Ganyan ng batang Pilipino May galang at may respeto na mula sa aming minuno Ngayon binabahagi namin sa inyo Mabait, masaya, malusok at masigla Laging nakangiti Masarap tumawa Ganyan ng batang Pilipino May galang at may respeto Mika na mula sa aming imuno Ngayon binabahagi namin sa inyo Ganyan ng batang Pilipino May galang at may respeto Pinan na mula sa aming minuno Ngayon binabahagi namin sa inyo Maraming salamat po! Mabuhay tayo mga Pilipino! All right, blessed Monday, everyone. Welcome to the Singing Salad Master. Tonight it's uh, it's gonna be uh, fishy. <laughs> uh, hello, Chef Brian. Hello, Clumsy, and hello, everyone. I smell something fishy is going on. Fishy, yeah. <laughs> yes. Don't know about you, but uh, let me tell you, mine is um, pretty fishy. Well, I decided to go with. Salmon today. Salmon today. Okay. Mine is the the beloved, the humble tilapia. I'm going to turn the tilapia, the humble tilapia into something special. Let me give you a little background on this dish. This dish is celebrating its 40th anniversary because exactly, exactly 40 years ago, this was shown to me by a Filipino doctor 
who lives in Guam, where America's sunshine begins. Okay, the lovely, lovely uh, island of Guam. So I was there in 1983. That was my first um, gig outside the country as a musician. I was a young drummer in 1983. And a certain Dr. Sagisi, he's a Filipino guy, uh, who, who lived most of his life in the, on the lovely island of Guam. And uh, he cooked this thing. You got to try this, kid. And I fell in love with that dish. I haven't seen it anywhere around the world. Was this his uh, original recipe? Probably. But I'm going to show it to all of you. And um, I wonder what you're doing. Ano kaya tong gagawin ni Chef Brian? Ikaw, Clumsy, did you prepare something today? Yes po, kuya. Meron tayong entry, syempre. Oh, wanna tell us about it? Ano yung ano ba yung sa inyo? And actually, ang uh, sa amin eh, yung uh, basic na ginataang tilapia. So, we will share the recipe later po. May video po kami ginawa dyan, syempre. Alright, Brian, do you know what ginataan means? No, I do not. So, we're gonna learn tonight. Okay, okay. Ginataan is um, any, any, um, any food where we put coconut milk. Then it makes, yes. it's, that's, that's what makes it. I think you're not, you're no stranger. Hey, what are you? Oh, there you go. Enough, <laughs> Coconut milk. <laughs> enough said. There you go. Well, that's what I'll be using today. <laughs> um, I'm sure one of these days you're, you're going to make a ginataang jalapeno. How about that? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't, don't give me some, I, I might think about it. I mean, that's a good <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, oh, sige, sige. I'm headed out to my kitchen. Oh, what exactly are you making? Is it going to be a long cook? About 30 minute cook, but it's a salmon chowder. Chowder? Ooh. Oh. So I'm making some salmon chowder. And while you, while you walk to the kitchen, I'll just go through the ingredients because there are a few ingredients, but that's what gives Okay, mine's a few also. You go ahead. I'm heading out to my kitchen, okay? All right. So while he's heading to his kitchen, um, we do have um, this to use it instead of oil. So right now, I'm cleaning my pan to make sure that it's uh, nice and ready. Then it's going to have um, instead of onions, it with uh, leeks. So I already diced up my leek right here. So I got my leek right here already diced up. Then I have. Uh, whoops. Some uh, celery, which I'm going to dice up right now. And uh, garlic. We've got three cloves of garlic already crunched up. And salt. A bay leaf, which is down here. And some oregano. And smoked paprika. And some of the main ingredients is going to be potatoes. And, of course, you can't go any wrong with uh, salmon. So, while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and cut the celery because I'm going to actually have to start sauteing that. So... We'll get that nice and dressed up. No strings attached. See? No strings. You gotta love it. We got the celery. And like I said, since I already uh, diced up the leeks, my leeks are right here. Nice still stayed. And see how this pan is doing. And she's ready on this side. 
I'm going to move the camera so you guys can get a view of what and what we got going on. And then let's move that. Bum, 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 bum. You get me? Big view. Right here. There we go. Give me a little bit of light in there. And use a little bit of coconut spray here. Okay, yeah. Clancy, can you hear me? Yes, yes, Kuya, we can hear you now. Okay, good. Okay, look. Put a little oil. Just a little oil. Here are my ingredients. Very, very simple. Leeks. Tomatoes. Green onion. Soy sauce. Sesame oil, salt, pepper, little sugar, and uh, that's it. At yung yung uh, yung tilapia. Just to save time, I wanna show you. I already cooked the tilapia. It's already fried, no? I'm gonna start with the leeks. Just to take the leeks. Got me sibuyas ka ba dyan? Isa lang. Parang gusto ko lagyan ng sibuyas. Pero there's something about leeks. Alam nyo, paboritong paborito ko ito. Almost all my cooking has leeks. Pag minsan nga, kinakain ko lang yun. Ganyan eh. That's what I'm cooking with today. I'm cooking with leeks today. I'm going to add my garlic. Malilit tayo. Tomatoes. Red onion. Thank you. So just allow it to uh, to get soft to wilt. Magugulat kayo kung gaano kadali ito. Guess what's next? What's next is you put soy sauce. Then a little water. Season with a little salt. Ground black pepper. A 
dash of sugar to balance the taste. Get your tilapia. Just drop it there. Have a spoon ready. And just put everything on top of the tilapia. So I got that one. I just added uh, the garlic, small paprika, salt, and orange. So I just added to my dish, to my mix here, which are getting nice and good fragrance. Now we're going to add one third cup of uh, cherry sauce. And it's like on thin wine. We'll do that to cook off the wine. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add the. Yeah, so what? I'm 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 almost done. I'm almost done. Oh, you're then, you're good. Sesame oil. Just drizzle sesame oil on top. Lower the heat. Don't cover it completely. Just crack it open, just like that. And I'm done. Oh, mukhang masarap yan, kuya. Looks good, ah. See? Wow. Oh, 100%. And you want to end by putting green onions. I love green onions. Always. It's great for soup. It's great for anything. Always have green onions handy, guys. You can never have enough of green onions. Get my tasting spoon. Could use a little more water. Why not? So we already let the, the sherry wine cook for a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and add three cups of um, I use chicken broth. Oh I'm just going to add a little more sugar.
What I'm going to do now, I'm 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 actually done. I'm gonna cover it and turn off the heat and allow the residual heat to take to do the work. Nice. I'll just turn it off. I'm done. I'll take a picture and I'll see you inside my studio. Wow. So your your yours is his is done and all the good stuff. So now I'm just waiting for the this is simmer. As soon as it simmers, I'm gonna put the lid on this. You get about ten minutes while that's heating up. So we'll switch back over here. And then we get our salmon here. My charger. Get my charger here. We got salmon. Probably got salmon. It's gonna cut it into slivers because it's the last thing that we're putting in. We'll just cut this straight in half. And now I'm going to wait to the very end to add the salmon. While that's getting cooked up, I'm going to, all I got left to do is the coconut milk and add the salmon. All right, uh, so it's a waiting game now, Chef Brian. Yeah, for me now, it's a waiting game. I'm going to let this simmer for about eight more minutes. And then after that, we'll add All right. the, the coconut milk. But while okay. I'm, I'm going to start uh, cleaning up a little bit. Okay. While you're doing your thing, I will be showing the videos of our uh, dish that uh, ginataang tilapia. All right? Perfect. All right. And here is the video. Ito guys, ang aming uh, entry pa uh, for today's video. For today's fish dish. Uh, fish dish. <laughs> Nabubuyoy pa eh, no? Talaga nga naman. Ba? Buyoy, Israel. Uh, uh, Asa na siya? Wait lang pa. Okay. Here it is. So, ang pe-prepare po natin ay ginataang tilapia. So, ito po yung ating ingredients. 
So, meron po tayo kukuma mo na fresh gata. Ayan. Na, na pwede mabili po sa ating grocery. Tilapia, of course. Fresh from the palengke. One tablespoon po ng asin. Yan na po yung paningpla natin. Then, ground pepper po. Then, meron tayong suka. Ayan, kasi pakukulaan natin sa suka yung tilapia. Then, we have the pechay tagalog. Isang siling haba. And then, kraso lang po ng luya para pantanggal ng lansa. So, ngayon po, ang gagawin natin ay ipe-prepare na po natin yung ating tilapia. Isasalansa na natin siya dito sa ating salad master. Wok. Ayan. So, medyo katamtaman na talaga yung kinuha ko tilapia. So, isalansa natin. Salansan na yung ating tilapia. Ngayon, lalagyan na lang natin siya ng ito na, yung ating asin at yung ating brown pepper. So, i-spread natin. At saka yung ating brown pepper. I-spread natin siya. Then, i-mix po natin yung ating luya. Pang huli yung ating pechay Tagalog pagka malapit na siyang ito. So, lalagyan po natin siya ng suka. Suka. At saka konting tubig. Lalagyan natin siya ng tubig. Ay ng tubig. So, buksan na muna natin ang ating pala. So, pakukuloan po muna natin yung ating tilapia sa suka. So, pagkulo na siya, saka natin isusunod yung gata. So, then, kukuloan natin ulit. So, balikan natin siya kapag ka nakakulo na siya sa suka. So, see you later! Ayan. So, ito na po. Kumukulo na yung ating tilapia. Ngayon, lalagyan na natin yung ating gata. Tapos, lalagyan natin ulit siyang tubig. Lalagyan na rin natin yung ating gulay. Tapos, hintay na lang natin siyang kumulo. And, That's it. So, yun na po yung ating ginataang tilapia. Or isip po ng ating salad na star po. Yes. So, plating na lang po mamaya. See you. Ba, very ba, nice. Very hello. nice. Hello, Flo. Ayan. Ayan po. Ayan po. Ayan po. Oh, ito naman yung akin, oh, ito naman akin no? Oh, MV. Oh, MV. Wow. Look si Ami, oh. Di ba? Agutom, ah. Nagugutom ko lang ulit ako, ah. Kamsi, nakamsi, naka... Ay, sorry po. Ayan, okay na po. Okay, so there you go. That's what it looks like. And, uh, ready to eat? Yeah? Let's eat. Mm. Mismo. Ay, nako. Shout out to all the viewers here. Ma. To all my friends. Yung mga hindi ko pa friends. Mga friend ni Clamsy. Ako po si Rani Raimundo. Yan po si Chef Brian. Yan si uh, Floor. Ha? Tawagin nyo na lang kami sa pangalan namin. Wala, walang host dito. Puro kaibigan dito. Please call us by our names because there's nothing sweeter than hearing your own name. No? So, yan po. Bakit wala yung mga pangalan natin dito, Clamsy? Na pag pag mga. Oh, ano, ah, natatakpan lang yan. Yan, yan ganyan. Oo. Oh. Okay na kamusta ko yung mga friends ni Clamsy? Kamusta kayo diyan? Choy, subukan mo to ha. Okay. Nako, 
Chef Brian's still working. <laughs> that was that was quick, huh? That was really fast. <laughs> Okay. I love salmon. I, I really do. I ought to make something with... I think I did before. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, that's Fox Favorites. That's what you eat all the time. I'm actually just waiting. I just wait for the potatoes to just be a little bit more tender. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and add the coconut milk. Very boiled. Then I'll add the salmon at the end. So it's just almost just like to you know, finish cooking at the very end. I mean... It's fish. It doesn't take that long to cook. Puro ano. It's, it's, a, it's a ginataang day. I mean, uh, one of the kids is not like the other. That would be me. <laughs> Two boys with <laughs> coconut milk. Yeah, yeah I, I, I went with coconut milk instead of heavy cream. I was like, we'll, we'll change it up a little bit. Because that's what you do, Chef Brian. That's what you do. You, yeah, you, know. you got to have a little bit of fun, you know. I mean, you know, yeah, it's 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 like jazz. You're like a jazz musician. You like to improvise. You like to tweak. You like to, yeah, yeah. If After a year, I know you. If you're cooking, you 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 got to because it's like you know what, you you taste the food. You're like, it's just right where it needs to be, mm -hmm. or but let's tweak it a little bit. But it's just yeah. minor tweaks that we got to do. Uh, not when I first started cooking. I first started cooking. Forget it. <laughs> Yeah, kaya to the uh, to the um, the home cooks out there, you know, uh, the hobbyists. You know? The more you cook, the wider your 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 your, your uh, the range of your palate becomes, you know. And you you try to remember that don't just eat and satisfy yourself, you know. They use every every um, every senses, you know, the the sense of sight, feel it, you know, smell it, taste it, and then. When, when you cook, then you can jazz it up. Yep, what is that you have there? Saffron. Saffron. Precious, precious thing. Uh, it, and it's straight from Spain. I know. <laughs> what better source than the saffron from Spain? Ay, nako. Ay, nako. Oh, I don't get to know next week. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I think we, we got to do something. What, 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 what are we cooking next week? Yeah, I know. Huh? I want to hear from you guys. Well, so I'm mabilis yung luto because hindi ko na kinunan yung you, uh, you fry the uh, you fry the tilapia ahead of time and then you set it aside, you know. But it's really a, a quick uh, cook, really quick. Don't forget, I did I show you? I did add water. Ha? Hindi po the toyo lang. It's gonna be too too salty. So uh, use your uh, have a tasting spoon. Uh, it it has to taste light, and then uh, to balance the the saltiness, you add a little sugar. But the thing that makes it pop is the uh, sesame oil, and of course the the green onions in the end. Ay sara talaga. Oh, anong gusto niyo next week, huh? Anong gusto niyo next week? Pwede tayo mag happy fiesta next week, kasi ito yung this is Holy Week, at least for the uh, for the. Uh, the the, the Catholics and the Christians, it's, it's Holy Week. And um, tawag dito, we, we try to abstain from, from a certain food. So that's why we, we did fish. You know? uh, so what do you want for next week? Uh, we'd like to hear from you guys. Give us your ideas. Otherwise, Chef Brian is going to do his ginataang uh, jalapeno. <laughs> <laughs> And, and if Lord has to try it, I'll lie. Ginataang manok with jalapeno, kaya. Yeah. I'm going to have to give it to you on live TV, the jalapeno. OMG. <laughs> Wait, I have a show. <laughs> well, don't worry. I, I, um, we'll, we'll make it ahead of time, and then we'll deliver it straight to the show and, and get live feedback. So we're good. Don't worry. Don't worry. We got it. I think you know if there is such a thing as pork and beans. You you buy a can of pork and beans, and there's just one, one little piece of pork, and everything is beans. Maybe you can make pork and jalapenos. You know, well, that'll be your. 
That, and that's almost like I almost make that a pretty much most of the time. <laughs> See, hey, Floor, <laughs> as Ryan tried uh, the, 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 the famous Bicol Express, have you heard of the Bicol Express? Yeah. Um, we have several versions of it here, but oh. I think he likes sometimes, and then sometimes it's just another version he wouldn't. But there was yeah, yeah. that he liked it. Which one? The white, um, the one, the latest one we ordered, but ah. it wasn't the, the yeah, but it wasn't the same. Yeah, it's the not one you did like it. Yeah, the, the yeah, first. One. Yeah, the Bicol Express. I need to do that. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That next week. Well, I can do that. Um, well, here's an idea. Unless, unless we hear from the 10 million people out there, I'm thinking of um, next week's episode uh, as uh, the spicy episode. Oh, hey, look at the boy. Look at the little boy. <laughs> it's your face. It lights up like a Christmas tree. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, do I want to go Serrano? Do I want to go Ghost Pepper? Do I want to go You're going nuts now. <laughs> I, mean, I, I gotta figure out what it was. Okay, we got peppers, but I I think I could get it where you taste it, you have a nice little taste of it, it's so great, and then you get the after effect. <sighs> oh man, the after effect. Because I think I've done this a years ago, uh, well, sometime last year. But there's this uh, Visayan Visayan dish called. Uh... No, really, I haven't seen you in a long time. Hello, how are you? Um, I'm thinking of uh, chicken halang halang or beef halang halang. It's a it's a Visayan dish. Any Visaya Visaya here? Nanonood? Alam nyo ba yung halang halang? It's a hot soup. You know, it's a almost like a hangover soup. Um, did, did we make that once? I yeah. did. Did I did? Yeah, but I'm just say, I'm just saying maybe for for the new guys who haven't seen that episode, uh, I could do that if you want to do spicy, or I can even make my own tweaked up Tagalog version of the Bicol Express or the Ilonggo version of the Bicol Express. How about that? I don't know. Oi, mag ano kayo jan? Mag mag anong gusto nyo? Suggestion. Ibi, sa inyo na nga, sa inyo na nga pinibigay yung uh, kung anong gusto nyo. Eh. Oh. Spicy o oh, spicy. Ano kaya magandang spicy dish? Sabi niya na, sabi ni Michael, okay lang yung ano. Ate Jesse, Ate Nurse, any suggestion? Mga spicy, uh, mga spicy na ulam na pwede, di ba? For the next week. Sa mga nanonood, kayo po kinakausap namin, ha? Baka meron kayong gustong uh, uh, recipe, eh, yun ang gagawin namin. Tignan natin. Relienong reyo tonta. Tortang tonta. <laughs> Tortang reyo tonta. Pwede, pwede ba spicy yung menudo? Eh kahit na ano pwede gawing spicy, kahit na sinigang gusto mo gawing spicy, bakit hindi? Kahit na tsokolate gusto mo gawing spicy, <laughs> like, mas kilay. Tignan ko lang hindi maging spicy yan. <laughs> kahit na scramble, lagyan mo na. <laughs> spicy scramble. Chicken curry, menudo. Oh. Menudo, yes, but uh, need a little bit. Uh, it's been a while since I made that. <laughs> Oh, and you know, do you know that it won't be menudo without liver, Brian? Oh, it depends. My menudo don't take it. Mine <laughs> take they have a different version of menudo, Kuya. Well, your menudo oh. then is menu, menudito. It's not a complete menudo because it, it it ain't it, without liver. How could you call that menudo, menudo Brian? A Mexican way, menudo. You got to get that cow stomach, get it nicely chopped up. We got a little bit of parsley, that slide of chili pepper, get a nice, good. It, it, that's your your hangover. 
Innards. In, in here in, 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 in the lower Texas, Mexico, that's how you get over a hangover. Get a nice I wonder... Hangover. I wonder the level of 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 uh, of uric acid these people have. You know, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey, just saying. It, you know, a little bit of spice is good for you. Yeah, I mean, you you, got you, the Indian food is also nice and spicy, also, and they use a lot of fresh ingredients. Oh, and and the Thai people, the Thai people, I think they. They munch uh, on chilies like peanuts. Uh, our, our, our old uh, area manager, yeah, he would just eat them like, like nothing. Like nothing. They got tongue of leather, you know. <laughs> it, it, it it takes a while to build to that level. I mean, uh, the boys are getting a little bit better with the jalapeno. Now they list up to about. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The Cheatham boys are developing. Yeah. Their resistance and uh, to 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 spice. Yeah. Well, you gotta have the 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 spiciest dad award, you know. Yeah, but, it's, <laughs> but it's been doing it slowly, not like okay, here try this. It's like slowly increase it, increase it. So you build up that tolerance, you know? You gotta do it slowly. There you go, guys. Uh, the picture of uh, fatherly love. Yes. Oh, yes. That's right. Hot and spicy. Ah. Alam, look, sabi ni Choy, ni Choy, a chocolate dish that has a bit of spice? Absolutely. My dear, dear friend, uh, he's a legend here in the Philippines, Chef Gene Gonzalez, one time invited me for. Um, a chocolate dinner. So I said, I, I beg your pardon. Said, yeah, a chocolate dinner. So I'm th we're talking about savory uh, ingredients with chocolate. And some of them are spicy chocolate. Really amazing. You'll be surprised how chocolate works with certain dishes. Like Japanese curry, uh, some would even add just a cube of dark chocolate in it. It's a world of different. Yeah, chocolate dinner. Uh, courtesy of uh, the great, great uh, legend, my dear friend, Chef Gene Gonzalez. Yeah. Nagulat ako. Nagulat ako. You know? You know, I remember, like, there were some fried onions covered with chocolate, and it was amazing. Um, yeah. Wow. What is... Oh, hey. Hey, now. Mm. There we go. Yum yum. Yum yum. Now, now 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 the real test. Okay, we got some uh, entries here. Pork piña estofado. Well, that sounds good. Now now the real test. I had to come over here. Oh, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that is the uh, the the barometer. <laughs> uh, you didn't put that much spice into this. Actually, no spice. The, the fish looks good. Mmm. Shut this off. Uh, <laughs> hey, you guys. Um, is uh, good are friend. pineapples in, pineapples in season? Here, you mean? Yeah. I think they're always there. We always they're, always, they're always in the groceries in cans. So <laughs> no, we, we, we always, always have them. Always there. It just depends on the on the if it is in season, it's cheaper. But if it's not, they're more expensive. Yeah. Oh, really? Pineapples are expensive there. Oh. It all depends if it's available. You should. They're like three dollars or. A dollar fifty. How about this? Uh, you you want to make uh, a dish that incorporates uh, pineapple? Okay. You think you can come up with something? Now, for dinner. For dinner. A dinner entree. 
a dinner entree or or yeah because i got the idea from uh, maria lisa kabawatan incidentally she is the mother of one of our madhouse record label artists from the mad teens jana and che do check out guys um please uh check out uh uh jana's music video clumsy if you can kindly you uh, know uh, put the link of her video dumikit na rin po kayo ki uh ki jana ultra talented young lady you know? otherwise she won't have a recording there is we don't just give out uh songs and produce just just for the heck of it i actually saw and heard talent from this young lady and therefore she is now a madhouse uh, record label artist one of the stars of Mad Teens. But anyway, she mentioned pork piña estofado. Now, I, I like the mm. pork. Uh, I, I zeroed in, in the word, on the word piña. And, uh, you know, pineapples uh, uh, mixed with savory. There's some magic there. I'm just, I'm, you know, I could change. We could change our minds, but uh, that's just an idea. The pineapple too, Kuya, grilled in your grill is so yummy. I haven't tried that. Grilled pineapples? I never tried that. That'd be a fun one. You know what, Brian? You can do a grilled kebab with pineapple. Hey. Well, uh, they, they, we could do that, but I want to see what what's a good... I mean, it's almost pineapple is the main ingredient. Jalapeno stuffed pineapple <laughs> <laughs> with yeah, serrano yeah. dressing. <laughs> serrano mayo. In, instead of the, what is that, white thing, cream cheese, then you do the pineapple. That will make good. I'll tell you what I have in mind. Uh, I'm thinking of making pininyahang manok. <laughs> pininyahang manok. You, you got that, Brian, didn't you? You want? Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what's manok, Brian? Chicken. Pineapple chicken. I was actually looking at the same recipe. <laughs> why, why, why ever not? I don't know how you make yours. You don't know how I make mine. So you want to do your 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 pineapple chicken? I'm gonna make my pineapple chicken. How about that? Yeah, that that, that I mean, it's a good dish. It'll be. Nice and simple. Yeah, there are many ways we could attack the chicken. The chicken can be like, uh, you know, roasted style and with glazed pineapple, if you like. Mine would be like a stew. There would be uh, potatoes, uh, carrots. Uh, there'll be soup, chicken. A little sauce, I mean, not really soup. So have we decided? I'm good with that. Are you are you good with with the uh, pineapple as the the key uh, the key thing? Ingredient? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, since it's summer already, no, and uh, uh, pineapple is always associated with summer. Let's yeah. make something with pineapple. Yeah, we'll make we'll make fried rice. Pineapple fried rice. Hmm. Oh, that's the best. Oh, <laughs> man. There's one Chinese restaurant down here. Like, uh, you know, you. Know, I don't know how the uh, the Chinese restaurants in your neighborhood is, but the one here, uh, the the menu is on the on the, on the on the um, the placemat. It's a piece of paper, and if you really count, let me tell you, the menu has like a hundred items. Wow. Uh, about a hundred items. It, they're in fine print, and that that placemat is filled with, you know, food. I hate it, you know. But, you know, what am I going to order I, when, when I go to a restaurant? I, I I prefer restaurants with just, you know, just a number of dishes, the best dishes. But you know, when I see that entire list, it takes me. What do I want? I like this, but I also want this. I also want that. Blah blah blah. blah. But anyways, this restaurant. I'm not gonna mention the name. Has about about a dozen uh, varieties of uh, of fried rice. 
And what happens to be my favorite? The one with the pineapple. You're right, Flor. I love it. Yeah, the first time I, I tasted it, it was so good. All right, check that out. Pineapple is good for the heart. Well, number one, uh, fiber. Yeah, fiber. Kaya lang, I hate it. There's nothing more that I hate than a pineapple that is not sweet and and very maasim. Ay, naka, I hate that. I hate that. How are the pineapples there? Are they matamis, Flor? Like the yeah. ones we have here? They're sweet? They're usually, they're usually sweet. Ah, that's great. But there was this pineapple I, I tried. I think if I remember correctly, it's got to be... I'm not sure if it's Palawan or or somewhere in the north. They call it uh, uh, the, the, the princess pineapple. They're really short and stubby. Mabilog lang siyang maliit na ganyan. Oh, wow. I, I, even the core you can eat. Have you tried one of those? Maliliit na. Uh, kayo dyan nanonood. Are you familiar sa ganyan? It's really small. Kasa sa kamay. Ganyan, dalawang kamay. Nakaganyan ka. Maliit na pineapple. Kahit na yung core, yung gitna, ang lambot-lambot at ang tam... Ay, sana. Woo! <clears throat> Ay, hindi. Ano eh, Maria Lisa, mahina ako sa maasim. I think, you know, when it comes to the threshold of, of pain and asim, I think women are second to none. I don't know. Flor, how are you with maasim? Do you, like, manggang hilaw, are you okay with those things? No, not so much. What about you, Brian? How's your sour threshold? Man, you, you are you are a man of the world. I mean, spicy, sour. Give it to me, you know. Except but, liver. Eh, no liver. No no palace. What was the second one? No oh, palace. What is that? Check. Cactus. The cactus here, Kuya, is, is um we cook it or it's oh, cooked, being cooked. It's like a it's a vegetable here. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, like the the one with uh, with with aloe vera. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, that, that that's that's uh, pretty sketchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero tawag dito, alam mo yung maasim talaga, sobrang mahina ako dyan. Like yung mga manggang hilaw. Uy, manggang hilaw. Ay, you guys can have it. <laughs> Take it, please. You know? There is a manggang hilaw na the, it's not maasim. That's what I like. That's what I like. I think it's called manggang... Something, something. Indian mango. Yeah. Yeah. What you want to stay away from if you're a guy is uh, yung manggang kalabaw. Heard of that? Manggang kalabaw? Ay, nako. I don't like talaga. I'll eat a jar of bagong. You can have the... <laughs> yeah, we're good. So, that's it, guys. Um, Pineapple. Pineapple then. You got it. I'm gonna make... Uh, uh, pininyahang manok. However, I'm gonna do it. Why don't you watch and find out? Yeah, you it's gonna be good. I'm telling you. Do with a, that pineapple fried rice. I'm I'm gonna I'll be watching you because I, I wanna I, I wanna see how you do it because I love pineapple fried rice. I don't know how you do it. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna watch you while I cook. Uh, yeah, but okay. you know, let, let me tell you, if you have a salad master. I'm talking about my my recipe because I really have a, a, it's it's one of the the favorites here in the house. Um, my pininyahang manok, you literally just dump everything <laughs> into the uh, the EOC or the sa whatever salad master you have, and you just cover the lid. You wait for the tick tick. That's it, really. You just dump it. So. I wouldn't miss this if, if I were you guys, you know. Of course, you may cook it with other uh, uh, cooking uh, wares that you have. But let me tell you something about Salad Master before we leave. You know? I've been a Salad Master for over a year now. Solidly, definitely over a year. And let me tell you, it changed lives. It did mine. Um, 
and uh, I had the the most amazing opportunity to take care of my parents. You know, they took care of me and my brothers. You know, so it was our turn to take care of them. And uh, well, my dad passed away already uh, some years ago, a few years ago, but uh, I was able to give him good food. You know, and now my mother, I'm taking care of my mother. Uh, I cook for her on a day to day basis. Um, she's a quadruple bypass survivor. She's all right, but she has, you know, vertigo. So I have to be take it easy on the salt. Uh, but with a salad master, I get to cook really healthy food uh, without uh, adding too much. Of course, when I cook for myself, I can put whatever I want. But with the salad master, Somehow, because of the technology, could it be because of the aluminum that is, uh, este, the titanium that is used? Could it be, be because of, of the engineering? Uh, um, definitely any of those reasons put together. So the taste, the flavor of the food is retained. You get to taste the real taste of chicken you get to taste the real freshness of the vegetable you even see the real color of the vegetables only with the salad master because i've been cooking all my life i took it from i got it from my my grandmother but with the salad master if you do put uh, a lot of seasoning you there are some recipes you wouldn't even have to put anything okay and with the salad master because of the technology of salad master there are uh, great things that uh, it can give you we have this thing i i, I just call it the tick 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 you know it, it, it's a uh, the word never existed even in in the salad master word and i think that uh, the salad master congress is having a caucus and they're trying to determine if the word tick 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 will be adapted worldwide and i'm the proud author of that word because that's exactly the sound that you hear it is a, a brilliant idea by the creator to put that valve it's not even electronic but when you hear the tick 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 it tells you two things it tells you that the food is cooked when i say cooked that means all the everything has bacteria you know and when you cook it the bacteria dies now when you cook it further not only does the bacteria die, even the nutrients begin to diminish. But when you hear the tick, 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 guess what? You still got about 90% plus of the nutrients. How about that? No? So please do check it out. Um, uh, give us a call. Everybody knows Clumsy. Uh, Clumsy, uh, people know Clumsy than they, more than they know me. Really? So he's the guy. Get in touch with Clumsy, and uh, we'll pay you guys a visit wherever you are in the world, whatever time. You know, allow us to share with you this uh, amazing, amazing system. And we love to call it a system. It is a cookware, but it's it's way, way more than just a cookware. We don't even dare call it a cookware. We call it a system. It is a, And not only that, it is a way of life. And uh, if you value... Uh, health, if you value your loved ones, guess what? This is the best investment, you know, because the best medicine is preventive medicine. If we feed our family with good food, then, you know, that that takes care of the rest, you know. So why don't you give us a call, get in touch with Clumsy, and uh, we'd be happy to give you a presentation. So, of course, no strings attached, you know. We never force this on anyone. But, um, if you want to get in, into the business side of, of it also, then good for you. I mean, Clumsy's been working hard uh, with, with us, and he now owns a, a Salad Master Walk. Well, guess what? That could be you. You, 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 and you. Yeah. So give us a call. Well, anyway, next week is, um, what do you call this? Is uh, Pina. 
It's going to be pineapple Okay? To all the Catholics, Christians out there, whatever your faith is, this week we are celebrating what we call uh, Holy Week. No? Now, it really, it's really a personal uh, retreat for all of us. And uh, no one will tell you or no one can tell me how to uh, celebrate your Holy Week or my Holy Week. But it's all also about remembering. No, This is a great time to reflect uh, not only on your good things, but perhaps on your shortcomings. You know? And whatever communication you have with, uh, with, with the heavens and uh, our Creator, find some time to, uh, to, to reflect and, and, and have a personal conversation. No, but uh, it doesn't mean forget it's Holy Week. We're gonna be like all all quiet and what is it? Is it? no, no, no. It doesn't work that way. That is just skin deep. It's inside. It's inside. No? And since we're talking about inside, if you want the outside to be all right, we have to take care of the inside. I'm not just talking about. No, I'm talking about the shallow part of life. It's not just our soul that needs nourishment. It is our bodies. Feed our bodies with good stuff, and the outside will enjoy it. Okay, so uh, have a blessed week, everyone. It was always a always a pleasure to uh, spend uh, Tuesday lunchtime with you guys. Thank you, Chef Brian, and thank you, Floor, and thank you, Clumsy. And thank you, everyone. Next week, it's going to be Pinyap. Bye, everyone. Thank you.